Today we are going to learn about how to install Mirth Connect without any errors. Installing Mirth is very easy but uh, we need to install uh, it without any errors. So after uh, the installation and when we are trying to build the channel so we will not get any errors. So the most common mistake over here is like people will use Java 9 or greater version. So when we use Java 9 or greater version few of the versions of the Mirth will not accept and we'll get lot of errors after the installation. So here's a screenshot of Mirth Connect guide which will tell you like which version of Java is supported for which particular version of uh, Mirth over here. So you need to make sure to install uh, the same version of Java and Mirth to make sure you will not get any errors. But in the most instances like people who are using Macbook or Linux and everything they will be facing lot of issues. So if you are using Java 9 or greater and if you don't have any admin rights to reinstall it to the lower version you need to do some changes in the JVM sometimes it will help and sometimes it will not for sure so the thumb rule is go ahead and use Java 8 version or below it will be uh, you will be able to run the latest 4.2-3.0 version of Mirth and even the most advanced version in future so always use Java 8 version so I directly gave the link over here of the Java 8 version depending upon your uh, requirement you can go ahead and install the required uh, JDK over here so currently I'm using Windows so I'll go ahead and click and use this as I already installed not installing it here but I'll show you the steps same with uh, Mirth installation you have a link over here I'll be providing all these details in the YouTube description go ahead and feel free to check so you have the Mirth Connect installation setup over here so you have uh, Mirth Connect 4.3.0 and it might be 4.4.0 or more in the future when you're watching this video and uh, don't uh, try to install this administrator launcher you can install everything within the same package so I am going ahead and clicking on the 64-bit zip file as it's my Windows laptop as I already installed it I don't want to waste time in the video and I'll provide you a link on how to install uh, with the steps and everything so once you click the link, Mirth has provided the steps on how to install it without causing any error. So you can follow this uh, official uh, guide over here. It's very easy like installing video games when we do in our childhood. Click, keep on clicking next. Accept all the agreements. That's it. Within one minute or two minutes, you will be able to install everything. So the most important point is like how to launch Mirth Connect. So after installation is done, in the search button click Mirth so you need to always launch it with the administrator launcher at the first time click run as administrator if you have admin rights or you can open it directly so it might take some time in the initial stages when you are launching it but in the future you will be able to launch it very fast so we'll be waiting for the pop-up of uh, the particular thing to yeah we got it over here yeah, you can see a lot of things over here, but initially when you launch it, you can see only this localhost 8443. You can save it with uh, different names over here. For example, if I want to save this localhost, I can click on it and give some random name. Yeah, I'll keep it as a random and save it. So it's all about the instances. For example, it's 8443. If it's test, it will be different. If it's like prod, it will be different. I can save it over here so I can launch it easily from the next time. So for the meantime, uh, we'll be going with the local host. Go ahead and click launch. I'll be explaining about the heap size in the future videos. At present, you can launch it. So this will be creating the JNLP file, which will actually launch the merge integration engine for you. You can even save the JNLP file in your desktop or somewhere and launch it directly. So the major thumb rule, again, I want to mention is like use Java 8 version or below you will not be facing any issues after the installation. This is the thumb rule which we need to remember. Yep. We got the login page and the good the first thing which we need to do is like uh, using the pa username and password. So whenever you install Mirth, always the first thing is like the username is admin and even the password is the same. So I'm just copy pasting it to make sure I'm using the same words. Okay, I'll just click on login. It should uh, launch maybe within 10 to 15 seconds. It will not take much time depending upon your system configurations. It's loading all the extensions. 
okay in the meantime uh, till it launches we can yeah it, it already launched you can close it over here so you will be seeing a blank screen uh, this channels will be not uh, there for you because I created it uh, in the meantime so yeah you can see a blank screen in the dashboard channels and everywhere so this is the screen which you can see over here so uh, that's it you were able to install merge successfully and you didn't get any pop-up errors showing that Java errors and everything so that's it in the next session I'll be explaining about what are dashboard channels and users have a great day see you